Hi guys, welcome back. So we're gonna do another yoga flow today, starting at the front of your mat. Inhale, the arms sweep up, and exhale, take an open back bend, the arms out wide, opening the chest. Inhale, upward salute, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, Exhale, palms to the mat, step back to a plank. Knees, chest, chin, or full chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the right foot rises up, three-legged dog. Exhale, the right knee to the right elbow. Cross it over to the left elbow. And exhale, we're going to bring the right knee in between both hands, coming to a pigeon. Level twos, the arms rise up, find that balance, and exhale, let's all release the elbows to the mat, coming into a resting pigeon. Inhale, the arms rise back up, we're going to come into a pigeon. Level twos can take their mermaid, and level threes can take their king pigeon here. Good. Whatever you're doing here, you're working the hip. As long as you feel that hip stretch, you're doing it right. Let's take the palms to the mat, curl the left foot under, and step the right foot back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the left foot rises up, three-legged dog. Exhale the left knee to the left elbow and cross it over to the right elbow. Good. We're going to take the left knee in between both hands coming to that pigeon pose. Arms rise up to level two. And exhale the elbows to the mat. Bring the head down. Square off the hips here. And inhale. We'll rise back up to that pigeon. So you can stay in pigeon level one. Level twos can take their mermaid, and level threes are going to come into the king pigeon. So you're working your level today. Feel that awesome stretch in the hips, and we'll release the palms down. Step the left foot back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Taking the right hand to the left ankle, come into a twisted dog. Exhale, bring the right palm back. Inhale, the left hand to the right ankle, twisted dog. Exhale, the left hand back. Inhale, the right foot rises up. And we step the right foot forward, sweeping the arms up and over, come into your warrior two. Inhale, the right hand comes over, peaceful warrior. And exhale, warrior two. Sweeping that left hand all the way over, come into your extended side angle. Level twos can take the palm to the mat and level threes take your bind. Inhale, return to that warrior two. And we bring the palms all the way to the right foot. See if you can find your balance and bring the arms to the side or maybe take that bind around the right leg. Walking the hands to the left foot. Level twos take the arms out to the side. Level threes can wrap the arms around that left leg taking the bind. Good. We sweep the arms up and over, coming back to that warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, level one. Level two, bring the left palm to the mat. And level three is take the bind. Let's release the left hand down, the right hand up and over, and sweep the arms back up, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, sweep the arms all the way forward, coming back to a plank, chaturanga, inhale, cobra, and exhale, downward dog. 
Inhale, the right foot rises up. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Crossing it over to the left elbow and take the right foot forward. We're gonna come into that crescent lunge. So release the left knee down, the arms sweep up and exhale, take your back bend. Taking the left hand down, the right hand up, come into the twist and release the palms to the mat. Step the right foot back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, inhale, cobra, Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot rises up. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog, and exhale, cross it over to the right elbow. Inhale, the left foot rises back up and step the left foot forward. Moving back into that crescent lunge, drop the right knee down, take the arms back, find that back bend, find that beautiful arch in the spine. Keep pushing that right hip forward and exhale, release the right hand down. Inhale, the arms rise up, and exhale, the palms to the mat. Step the left foot back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the right foot rises up, and step the right foot to the right of the right hand, moving into lizard. Level ones, drop the left knee down. Level twos, keep it lifted, and level threes, bring the elbows to the mat. Inhale, the right hand rises up. Twisted lizard. Exhale, the right palm or elbow to the mat. Inhale, press through the palms, lift the chest, and take the right arm underneath the right leg. Level twos can take your bind here. Good, breathe into that lizard, feel strong and we release the palms to the mat. Step the left knee down and inhale, the right hand rises up, twisted lizard. We're gonna push the right knee out to the side, getting a nice stretch here into that left hip. Level twos can bend the left knee. Level threes catch the left foot. We release the right palm to the mat and lift the left knee up, stepping the right foot back to plank. Flowing through your vinyasa flow. So exhale, chaturanga, inhale, cobra, and exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the left foot rises up. On your exhale, let's take the left foot to the left of the left hand. Once again, level ones can drop the right knee down. Level twos, keep it lifted. And level threes, bring the elbows to the mat, resting lizard. Inhale, the left hand rises up, twisted lizard. Exhale, release the palm or elbow down. Inhale, we're gonna come onto the palms, level one. Level two, arms out to the side, and level threes, take the bind in your lizard. Feel nice and strong here, squeeze that core in tight, and exhale, release the elbows or palms to the mat. We're gonna release the right knee down, and inhale, the left hand rises up. Take that left hand to the left knee and push the left knee out to the side. Level twos can bend the right knee and level threes catch the foot and pull that right foot into the glute. Feel that awesome stretch on the quad and we release the palms to the mat. Curling the right foot under, step the left foot back to plank and flow through your vinyasa flow. Exhale, chaturanga, inhale, cobra, exhale, downward dog. Walk the hands to the feet. We're gonna come into a ragdoll, so catch a hold of the opposite elbow and just shake side to side. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings, the calves, and we'll slowly curve the body up, arms rising up. Exhale, palms to prayer. All right, so let's move right into our balancing postures. So today we're gonna to be working with our eagle. We're gonna start with a bent left knee. Inhale, the knee rises up to stork. And exhale, wrap that left foot all the way around the right leg. 
arms to goal posts and you're going to wrap the arms around to an eagle posture. Awesome job, guys. Find that balance, find your composure. Inhale the arms out to the side. We're going to lift that left knee up and exhale, extend it back. Let's come into our eagle taking flight. Find that balance, that composure here. Inhale, we're going to rise up. Try to keep that balance. Come back to a stork. And we'll slow release. Shake it out. Moving on to the other side. We lift that right knee all the way up. Wrap that right leg around. Keep that balance. Come into the eagle legs. Arms to goal post and wrap the arms around. Eagle pose. Keeping your composure, your balance here. We inhale the arms out to the side. Let's rise back up to that stork and extend the right foot all the way back. Eagle taking flight, warrior three. Keep that balance, keep that smile on your face. You're having fun here. And inhale, let's rise back up to a stork and a nice slow release. Shake it out. You did amazing. All right. So now let's do our arm balance today. We're going to do side crow. So you're going to twist to the right. Find your balance and lift the feet up. If you can extend them straight, you're going to do that now and we'll release. Really quick crow pose today. Let's move on to the other side. So you're going to twist to the left, bring the palms down, fingers are wide, and you're going to lower the chest down, lifting the feet up to your side crow. You can straighten, straighten the legs now. And we'll have a nice, slow, controlled release. Awesome job. We're going to take the feet out to the side and come into our garland pose. So bring the palms together in prayer and use the elbows to open up the hips. We're going to twist to the left and come into your bind if you can. Bring the hands back together in prayer. Twist to the right. See if you can take that bind. Returning the hands together in prayer. All right, let's come into our forward fold and we're going to take the hands underneath the feet. Come into a gorilla pose. If you can straighten your legs, try to do that now. And let's come onto our hands and knees, our tabletop posture. We're going to do our cat and cow flow, which is one of my favorites lately. So you're going to curl the toes under, bring the belly down, pull the shoulders down and back, opening the chest into your cow. Exhale, bring the chin into the chest, curve the spine into your cat. Inhale, return it back down into a cow, dropping that belly low. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, really squeeze into those glutes. Exhale, pull the belly button in, chin into the chest, cat. All right, let's return to our table top and we're going to move right into a camel pose. So the hips are staying on top of the knees the entire time and we just begin to arch back through the hips, through the belly button, squeezing that core tight, draw the shoulders down the back. Find that amazing back bend and maybe bring the hands overhead. Inhale, rise up and exhale, palms to the heart. Let's rest in our child's pose. Anytime we do that back bend, we're counteracting this back bend with a forward bend, neutralizing the spine. Nice and relaxed. All right, so let's rise up and we're going to do a headstand now. So you're going to catch hold of the opposite elbow, cup the hands, bring the forehead to the hands 
and walk the hips over the shoulders, bending the knees, lift the feet all the way up, nice and slow with control. So everything in your body is locking up now. Your core is engaged, your glutes are engaged. If you wanna do a little variation, you can bend one knee at a time. Keep that balance though, keep that composure. Good, and both feet will rise up and we'll slowly straddle the feet down. Coming to a wide-legged fold here, step the feet together forward fold. All right, so now we're going to come into Dandasana, sitting on your mat. What I want you to do is press through the palms and lengthen the spine as tall as you can. Flex the feet back, core is active. Inhale, the arms rise up and exhale, fold forward. So level ones are going to grab the legs. Level twos grab the feet Level three is elbows to the mat and level four is head to the knees. Find your forward bend here. Breathe into it. Feel that stretch. All right, so we're going to do a little more arm balancing today. So lift the right leg up, squeeze that core, lift the left leg up, squeeze the core. You're going to press the hands forward and lift everything up in your floating stick. Awesome job, guys. Have fun with it. Give it a try. And we'll return back to our Dandasana. So now we're bending the right knee and we're going to twist to the left. If you can take the bind, take the bind now. Inhale, hands together in prayer. Let's switch sides. So bring that left foot in and twist to the right. If you can take your bind, you're wrapping the arm around that left leg interlacing the fingers behind back, do it now. Hands together in prayer, and we're gonna lower down to our mat, Shavasana, corpse pose, bending both knees. We take the right ankle over the left leg and pull the left leg forward, coming into a reclined pigeon. Level twos can straighten the leg, the left leg, and level threes catch the left foot and pull it forward. So try to keep that lower back on the mat the entire time here. Exhale, release the left leg down. We're going to switch sides, so release the right foot down. Take the left ankle over the right leg and pull the right leg forward. Level two, straighten the right leg. Level three is catch that right foot and pull it forward. Breathe into your body nice and relaxed. You're doing an awesome job today. You're almost done. And release. We bring the right foot, the left foot down bringing both knees forward. We're going to lower both knees to the right and extend the arms to T, taking the gaze over the left hand. Reclined spinal twist. Closing your eyes, take your practice inwards, and just find that deep, relaxed twist. Inhale, knees back to center, Exhale, slowly lower both knees to the left side. We take the gaze over the right hand. Recline, spinal twist. Nice and relaxed here. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, release the feet down. We're going to bring the hands towards the hips. Palms can face up or down, your choice. We're just going to breathe a little bit into our meditation. So you're coming into Shavasana, your corpse pose, and you're closing the eyes. And just begin to feel your body on the mat. Just really be aware of how the body feels. 
Notice how the breath is flowing in the body. If it's a short breath, we're going to start to slow down the breath, making it nice, slow, deep, and relaxed. Really breathe into the heart. Make sure the chest is opening on the inhalation. And on your exhalation, you're letting go of all the breath from the body. The breath is nice and slow and even, and the energy becomes balanced in the body. Moving into your thoughts, welcome any thoughts that come to you in this moment, and we'll slowly begin to just let go of the thoughts completely. Sitting in complete stillness, complete silence. We let go of the feelings in the body. We let go of the breath. And we let go of the thoughts as we enter into our stillness. Slowly begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes, bringing movement back to the body. Drawing the knees into the chest, wrap the arms around the shins, giving the body a nice hug, maybe rocking side to side. We massage the spine, massage the head, and we'll slowly lower both knees to the left side of the body. Coming into your fetal position, and we'll slowly rise to our easy seated posture, our Sukhasana. Inhale, take the hands to the heart center. Just feel the breath in the heart. The arms rise all the way up. Opening the arms wide, open the chest. The chin rises up and breathe into the heart. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me.